Northeast Ohio homeless shelters are at capacity right now, and one of the fastest growing segments of that population are single mothers with young children. For some of us, this is a safety net. This may be the only family that we have. So Five on Your Side investigator Joe Paganakis talks with a homeless mother and the experts about what needs to be done to address their concerns heading into 2022. Well, unfortunately, the Laura's Home Shelter here in the city of Cleveland has filled the capacity with 171 women and children. But according to the experts that we talked to, capacity isn't the only issue that has to be solved to take care of this growing problem. I have been homeless off and on since I was 16. It's been a 15-year battle against homelessness for Takika Holmes and her two young children, who have now been staying at the City Mission's Laura's home for the past three months. So that is to help me to stay focused. Takika uses her faith and posted inspirational quotes on the walls of her one-bedroom apartment to keep her going. It's been a long journey, this back and forth falling and getting back up, falling and getting back up. Takika is now working towards getting her GED so she can find stable employment and a place to call home, but says it's the life training and programming she's getting at Laura's home that makes the biggest difference in keeping her away from a life of addiction. If your mind isn't stable, how are you going to keep the job? How are you going to keep the housing? There just isn't affordable housing for single moms with kids. City Mission CEO Linda Uvega says their data indicates a single mother will have to work 70 hours a week at the current minimum wage to afford a basic apartment for her children. And that Ohio's 50 cent an hour increase in the minimum wage in 2022 won't make a difference. $9.30 is not enough. For a single mom, she needs to make at least $16.63 an hour to afford a two-bedroom apartment. Sadly, the Northeast Ohio Coalition for the Homeless reports unsheltered homelessness has returned to pre-pandemic levels. Laura's home now in the midst of a $6 million, 10,000 square foot expansion to increase its support programming to try and help people find housing. I really feel the key is supportive services, to really have those wraparound services to ensure those individuals don't return back to homelessness. And Laura's home looks to cut the ribbon on its new expansion coming up in July. It will also partner with Habitat for Humanity and the City Food Bank coming up in 2022, hoping to take care of this expanding problem. I'm News 5 investigator Joe Paganakis.